here we are in the uh, in the putting hub, and we're very lucky to have uh, Mr. Brian Huggett with us today. Um, who's he? <laughs> who's he? Yeah, who's he? We, who knows? No, Brian has uh, played a little bit of golf in your time. Yeah. Just a little bit. Yeah. Seven, eight Ryder Cups? Yes, yeah, uh, seven. Seven Ryder Cups. Yeah. So he's going to share with us today his three uh, key putting tips. Okay. So we're, we're very fortunate. So thank you, Brian. All right, it's a pleasure, Ollie. Any, anything that I can do to help you, and I know you're a guru at putting short game, but it, it, it's changed. The rules have changed so much, the teaching methods, everything. But I had a, a, a more than three rules, probably, but only three would happen at one time. Okay. First thing I would do was to find out whether I was putting uphill or downhill. That's very important because the pace comes in. To get the line, you've got to get your pace right. So I would want to know whether I'm uphill or downhill. And the second, the second thing I would do is obviously look at the line. And I would only look at behind the ball with the pin in the distance. I definitely wouldn't be looking from both ends. I know the majority now probably do look from both sides. To me, that can be a confusing factor because it can look different from one side to the other. Now then, which one's right? If you look at it from one side, you're simplifying it, and it'll work correct, in my opinion, um, more times than being buggered about by looking from both ends. So that's, that's the second totally one. Agree. Yeah. And the third thing is, today they seem to lock themselves together a bit, and it's very much a shoulder action. Well, in my day, it was a bit of each. It was a bit of arms and, 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 and hands. Not, not too risky by the time I played, but um, it used to be very risky. But I feel I would hold it lightly, very lightly. Like my this. father gave me a great tip when I was young. He said, Brian, hold the putter the same as you would take a bird's, egg, a, a bird's egg out of the nest when you were a naughty boy and you used to go up in the, in, in the rocks in Neath and bird's nest. Just hold it that light. And that's what I tried to do. And I stuck with it, you know, for about 30 or 40 years. Good. I've never held it tight. But I think they hold it a bit tighter now because it's very much a rocking motion agree, and not yeah. so much touch coming into it. I totally agree. I think players can look quite sort of robotic. Yeah, they, and, and it makes them look look stiff. Stiff, yeah. You know, in my opinion. Yeah, but it is feel. In my opinion, it's the small parts of the body, mm, the fingers totally that come into the, the stroke in you've my got, day. You've got to use some wrists. Uh, yeah, and I think not you, a lot. No, yeah, and, uh, today they seem to be using the bigger muscles more than the smaller muscles throughout the swing, even the, even the swing now. Yeah, it's we much more talking. wooden, this DeChambeau guy. DeChambeau, yeah. yeah. I mean, he's unbelievable. I can't believe how he does it, especially his pitching. I know we've gone to pitching now, but you'll double my fee. Uh, yeah, we'll carry on, talk about pitching. There it's we are. So um, anyway, um, Ollie, I hope that'll um, be something for your Cheers, clients to, uh, can I ask to you learn one, from. Can I ask you one more question? Yes. You had a putt in 1969 and yes, to win good, the Open? Good. You thought it was to win uh, the Open? No, win the Ryder Cup. To win the Ryder Cup? Yeah. Okay. How did you feel? And what did you well, go through was, mentally yeah. to prepare yourself to hold that? Well, I was, very, I was very nervous, like anybody would be. And having heard a, a roar at 17, where I thought Jacqueline had actually won, but he hadn't won, you can tell by the roars what, the, what was going on. And I thought, well, ooh, yes, I've got to hold this with Casper. Yep. If I hold this, we won the Ryder Cup. And, and I just told myself one thing, trust yourself, <laughs> that's all. Trust yourself. And did you? And, and I did, yes. And I it did. went in? I hold it well. It didn't, it didn't ring around the hole, but I, I, I wouldn't have cared how it would have gone. It went in, yeah. <laughs> but it went in nicely. It was about four and a half, five foot it was. And, um, and of course, eventually, um, over a period of time, um, uh, there wasn't golf on TV like there is today, but I, I, you know, that that was quite a famous putt, as it as it happens, it ended up with a tied match, as we know. Yeah. But the funny thing is, over maybe a period of five or six years, when I used to do question and answer on corporate days and things, that four to five foot putt became seven or eight foot oh, did it? in his stretch. Yeah. But had I missed it, it would have gone down to about a foot. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Brian. All right. Cheers. Thank Good. you. Thanks.
Cheers. Thanks very much, Ollie. Thank you, Ollie.